fact, some people after they have a surgical procedure, especially elderly, uh, appear to have some problems with their thinking uh, that may extend for several weeks or months after the operation. And the concern is that there's something about anesthesia or surgery that may be contributing to these problems in, in thinking. It's still controversial about whether this exists as a discrete entity uh, or whether this may just reflect the fact that people that need surgery are ill and have other problems that may make it more difficult to them, for them to function. But there is this possibility that's there. The primary um, topic of this study is more does anesthesia contribute to Alzheimer's disease? And uh, there's several animal studies that suggest maybe. Um, there's not a lot of human data, but the human data that is out there suggests probably not. And so that was the genesis of, of our study, was to look at some of the data that we had available through some pre-existing work that had been done in patients that have dementia and to see if anesthesia itself was a risk factor for Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. The basic finding was that your chances of needing surgery were the same whether or not you developed uh, dementia. So about 70 percent of patients in both groups needed surgery. So really no evidence that needing surgery itself was associated with an increased risk of developing dementia. The overall results of this study are good news that um, there's, again, lots of things to be concerned about, but it doesn't look like you have to be concerned that just having a surgical procedure will necessarily put you at risk for developing dementia or Alzheimer's disease later in your life.